There's a, an abundance of cow parsnips. Yeah. Uh, we call it the thin stem. Uh, my people use it, use the stems. They cut it up and then they smash it up and they make pudding out of it. It's only edible uh, about this time when, when uh, they are in bloom. Maybe about a month and then uh, can't eat them after that. It uh, has a bitter taste to it. But uh, when you're used to it, it's, it's not bad. And uh, you can eat it by itself, or sometimes they mix it with uh, box elder sap, which is very abundant about this time. But when you get it, you have to use it right away. There's no way to store it. And that's, that's how we use it. The plants, vegetation that we eat, uh, we don't eat it by itself. We uh, mix it with certain, certain kinds of meat. We eat meat along with the vegetation. That, that we eat. What did you call this? Machla okay. The thin-stemmed one. Thin-stemmed? Yeah, thin-stemmed one. Well, it's very common around here. It's very tall, grows about four to five feet, sometimes six feet tall. Heraclium linatum is the Latin name for it. It's in the, in the carrot family. Looks a little bit like some of the poisonous plants we have. Interesting you make pudding out of it. I know people that eat it just right out of the stem, although it's a little bitter to us. It has a medicinal effect also in that the seeds are collected and used to treat severed nerves in herbology. It makes nerves grow faster and it's used for trigeminal neuralgia or Bell's palsy in modern herbal medicine. Medicinally, you always collect this in the fall, and you collect the seeds. They come in little, uh, in a dense uh, uh, layer of capsules on top of the seed head, and you break open the seed pod, and you get little tiny seeds that you mash up into a powder. And you take that internally as a tincture, or just chew on the powder. And I've seen it work some pretty miraculous wonders on people with seriously severed nerves.